Saudi-Russian relationship is the whole foundation of OPEC uh, plus. And it's OPEC plus, which actually was OPEC plus plus Donald Trump last April, that stabilized the oil market. But now it's OPEC plus that is carrying the burden of getting working as demand comes back, bringing down the surplus. And it's had some rocky moments, including the price war uh, about 10 months ago. But uh, since then, it has been, uh, it has functioned. Uh, I think there's a strategic dimension to it. I think Vladimir Putin, I think Russia likes having a strategic relationship with one of America's two most important allies in the Middle East. So there's something that goes well beyond oil. But I think that, uh, as you say, the most recent action with Saudi Arabia's unilateral one million barrel a day cut, uh, which I think uh, the Russian uh, Deputy Prime Minister Novak called a holiday gift, I think he described it as. And I think it was responding to the fact of seeing the surge in the virus and the hit it was going to take on demand and moving uh, prophylactically to, uh, to keep uh, the, the foundations un under the market until we start to see uh, economies that are shutting down now opening, opening up again. But I, I think it is clear, and I think, Steve, this is a point that I think you're getting at, is that if you look last year, the leadership role in the global oil market was really the United States, the number one producer. Now, Saudi Arabia is back in the sort of in what we might call the leadership position, but that relationship with uh, Russia is absolutely uh, a foundation of stability in the market. 